So now it's done rendering. Um, now it's time for the Photoshop stage. So if we just go to there, get your uh, get your render file. It should have a white background, but that'll become transparent when you open it. So yep. Now just select all. So that's either Command A or Control A, whichever PC you're using. Um, then just Command C, and just go over into your other file. Um, my computer's still running a bit slow because I'm uh, uh, simulating still. So just I'll use that in, as an excuse. Now that's kind of centered. That's in the middle there. That's good. Um, I've just made a new uh, document kind of that's 2880 by uh, 1800, which is double my wallpaper, which is good for me. So now we can add some kind of glossy effects and uh, stuff like that. So if you go to gradient overlay, and then just for your blend mode, just choose soft light, and that'll kind of put a, a, a kind of nice little. Um, uh, kind of differentiating color thing on there. So it's darker down here, um, and without that, see how it's just kind of all one color. So you, you'll notice straight away that, that that makes a big difference. So also, if we just go to kind of lime green again, so that's kind of our, um, and then just bring it to that, oh, actually. So I just bring it down a bit, down to here. That makes it a bit darker as well. Now, if we want to put some nice glossy effects on it, we'll just make a new layer. Uh, yep, keep it on that. Now go to your brush. Uh, and there, that's actually a good size. So you just have kind of, I guess, 400, uh, and make sure your hardness is zero. Now the opacity is where it um, is the important bit. So I'll put that on 20%. So that'll keep us from having to kind of change the opacity on any of the layers. So then if we just make this kind of a light grey and then go to your uh, selection tool, the poly polygonal lasso tool and then just hit here and just make a straight line across here just like that. So now wherever we draw it will only be above this line. So with your uh, brush tool selected just go over this just like that as much as you want because it won't affect it any more than um than so like if I keep going over it it won't get any darker so then we'll just leave it at that then we'll hit deselect then right uh, sorry hold command and click on your graffiti text then that'll select it now you want to hit select inverse which will select everything around it now with the layer 2 selected just hit delete and that will delete all the brush stuff that we've, we've uh, done around it. So yeah, now that gives it a nice kind of uh, glossy effect. And with your razor, if you put that on hardness zero, and just kind of turn it up a bit, you could um, just put some kind of nice darkening stuff just where it's supposed to be dark. So the gloss should really only be on the green. So you can just touch all that up a bit. So yeah, so just around all the edges and, and stuff like that. Da, 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 da. Actually, that's a bit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll just leave it at that. But just in case you do want to make it darker, just do that. That'll uh, kind of make it look a bit more. Um, like like you haven't just done a line over it. Uh, so yeah, now that's pretty much all. Uh, I might just make a background and then so I'll just make it black with a kind of uh, with a big but really dark Green. Oh no. Actually, maybe if I make it 80. So there we have just a kind of nice green effect kind of thing. And if you just double click on there again to to go to your blending options, hit stroke. Just make that again, kind of make it dark green. 
then just check the size onto oh that's a bit big I don't even know why I type them put the size onto about probably five yeah actually five's good no wait sorry four yeah alright four's alright and yeah yeah okay Alrighty, so that color is good. Then you put a drop shadow on. Uh, just with all the default settings, you can change whatever you want. Uh, maybe even if you put the distance on zero and then change the size, that'll give it a kind of glowing effect. Uh, or you can just do out of glow, I guess, whatever, whatever you want, really. Um, there isn't much else. If you wanted to kind of make it look stony, you could use, I'm using this, and then you could put the opacity down to about uh, probably about four actually, and that'll kind of make it look sort of grungy. Actually, no, I'll take that off. Alrighty, so now that's nice. Um, now, if you just want to hit Command A again, sorry, then Command C, and then Command V, then uh, oops, yeah. So now you have this. And we'll actually just uh, group those two so the shine it will want to be on that. Now with this, if we make this a bit bigger and then put it in front of in front of the other text, then go to filter uh, filter sorry. Uh, blur and then just hit motion blur. Now put that on about 150 and actually maybe we'll do 180 and then just hit OK. Now actually maybe actually yeah, bring it in front, chuck the opacity down. Actually, uh, Put it behind, then then you can chuck the opacity down, and it'll kind of look like it's been sprayed on or or whatever, something like that. Um, and yeah, that's basically all that I want to show you. Uh, I guess you could, if you don't like the size of these, just bring it up, and then when you hit OK, it'll sharpen it automatically, so you don't actually have to do anything. And then that's already a nice looking background. So, yeah, that's just some ideas, tips for you. Uh, if you like the video, favorite it, like it, do whatever, subscribe, please, tell your mates. Um, and yeah, so see all you guys later.